Okay, let's talk conditional formatting. So the first thing I want to do is select the cell where I'm going to put conditional formatting. And in this case, I want to know when the total income drops below two thousand, um, below three thousand dollars. So I'll go here to conditional formatting, and I'm going to go with new rule. Okay. This part gets a little confusing. It's kind of just one of those things where you need to get in there and practice and try a couple different things. So I'm going to go with the bottom one. I just go with the bottom one. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. So determine which cells you want to change based on a formula. So my formula is going to go in here. So first of all, I put my cursor in there and I tell it this is the cell, C6. Whenever C6 is less than 3,000, I want this formatting to occur. So the formatting is going to be, um, I want to fill it with red because I want it to catch my eye. Bold font, but I'm also going to change the color to white. So it's going to look like that when I, when I go below 3,000. Okay, so nothing happens right now, right? Well, let's say someone loses their job. There you go. I'm sure none of you have uh, had that happen. We certainly have at our house. So uh, that's not cool. I'm going to put in another rule. I can put two rules on the same cell. So I'll go here and I'll say new rule. My new rule, using a formula, is that I'm going to select this box this cell is greater than four thousand dollars I want it to be green and then I'll change the font again to bold and white and that's what that will look like alright so hey we're back working again always a good thing hopefully short term always and there we are we're back in the green. So that's a uh, very simple way to use the um, conditional formatting. There are some other videos. I'm going to look around because you have a lot of options. You can grab these and do one of these color scales. Kind of cool. Where you go um, like the higher colors have a different color than the lower colors. It's kind of nice that you can scale. You can just sort of go over it and see. Um, you can do a data bar. So the, the, the cell with the most color has the highest number and you know pick any color you want or you can do like that. So there's lots of really cool things you can do in conditional formatting that will adjust based on what the actual number is in the cell. Alright, so that was very quick conditional formatting. Have fun!